it's time to make the handle for the mug that we started. So here's my mug that we worked on in the last video, and we're going to make a handle kind of like this. So I've got an extra ball of clay here, and we're going to roll it with the rolling pin to make it nice and flat. So you can roll both sides. And when it starts to flatten out a bit, you can put a ruler on each side because we want to roll it so that it is about as thick as one of these rulers. This works better if you're standing up because the pressure of leaning down onto it with your body weight makes the rolling go more quickly. Okay, so now my clay is about as the same thickness as my ruler and I'm going to lay my ruler down on top of the clay and use my pin tool and cut the clay right along the edge of the ruler. Take off the scrap and roll it up to save for later. And then I'm going to move my ruler over and I'll show you about how far. I'm gonna move my ru ruler over so that my handle is maybe about that wide and try to make sure it's nice and straight. And then cut right there. Now this, I'll save my scraps and roll them up to save them for later. Um, this is a part that sometimes people do some um, not so good things. So sometimes people are a little bit too generous with um, their fingerprints. And we want, we want to do is make this to be relatively plain and simple. And we just want to use our fingers to gently smooth the corners. We don't want it to be a hard corner. Think about how this is going to be feeling in your hands. When you pick up a mug with your hands, you don't want to have like um, a handle that's got a hard, rough edge. You want it to be smooth so that it's comfortable to hold on to. So I'm just smoothing it gently so that the edges are slightly curved. You don't want to do a lot of fingerprints here. You don't want to smush it or squash it. You do not need to add water. So I gently smooth the edges so they're slightly curved and rounded. And now we need to see um, what's a good size for our handle. So we're going to hold the clay up to our mug and see, obviously, this is way too big. But what is a good size? Maybe more like this. You'll have to see what looks good to you and what feels good to your hand, what you think you could hold on to easily. I think this would probably be about right for me. So I know that I want it to be about that long. So I'm gonna cut it right there. And I'm going to trim this other edge to make it straight across as well. And I'm also going to smooth those ends out. Craftsmanship is important whenever you make something. You want to make the edges all look finished. It's important because that's what makes a piece well made. Good craftsmanship. Make it look like it's finished nicely and neatly and it doesn't have any rough or unfinished spots. This is the right size. And it's shaped kind of like a question mark. This part right here is going to be connected to the clay and this part down here is going to be connected to the clay and I'm going to use scratch and attach to connect those. So I'm going to scratch it right here and I'm going to scratch it right here where I want to attach it and then I'll add a little bit of water and press it gently right here. You can use your thumb to blend the clay across the seam so that it becomes a more solid connection and it's a nice solid piece. And then we're gonna do the same thing down here. Just scratch and scratch. Add a little bit of water and press it in. Can do the same thing by smoothing the clay across the seam. 
And it's okay if you leave a few fingerprints because then it looks more authentically handmade. I'm gonna smooth out that little bit of a ridge along there. And I will make sure that that's a shape that I like. And I think I like it. So I'm all done. I will take the can out from inside and take out the paper towel now. And you can see the top edge looks a little rough. So carefully supporting the inside and the outside with my finger and thumb, I'm going to gently smooth that out. This top edge is obviously where you drink from and try to imagine what that's going to feel like on your mouth if it's a little bit rough. It's not going to be comfortable to drink out of. It's not going to be something you want to drink out of if it's rough. Also, just for practical reasons, if you think about if this is going to contain a beverage or food, if it has little rough edges, bits of bacteria could get stuck in there and it would, might be more difficult to clean. So you want to make it nice and clean because of aesthetic reasons and practical reasons. All right. I'm looking down inside my mug. It looks pretty good. The bottom of my mug looks pretty good. I'm checking for cracks and rough spots. And anytime I find one, I'm smoothing it. I think I'm done. Next, I'll let this dry and fire it and glaze it. I hope you uh, have fun making your mug. Good luck.